What's up YouTube, this is Tube Digger. In this video, I'm gonna show you some simple but effective techniques to create your own authentic sounding breaks using the Vault, which is an included expansion pack when you purchase your MPC. Before I get into this video, I'd like to thank all my current subscribers, anyone that's liked and shared my videos, anyone that follows and supports me on social media, and of course, all my current patrons on Patreon. If you'd like to become one of my patrons, please head over to www.patreon.com forward slash tube digger. If you're interested in my MPC Masterclass video course, please head over to tubedigger.com forward slash MPC Masterclass. And if you'd like 20% discount off of any of the courses available there, please use the following coupon code. It's all capitals, MPC Masterclass 20 or 20. So let's just go down to 90 beats per minute. So I'm gonna double tap my menu button and go to the browser. And I'm gonna just take some random sounds from the acoustic kits, which we've got included in the vault. So I'm gonna get a kick first. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna load that to pad one. Now I'm gonna get a snare sound or a rim shot. Okay, that stick sounds quite nice. So I'm gonna put that on pad two. Now I'm gonna get two different hi-hat sounds. So these ones are fine. I'm gonna put those on pads three and four. And finally, I'm gonna get an open hat. Okay, that's fine, I'll put that on pad eight. So now I'm gonna press and hold menu and press pad 14 and go to program edit. So the first thing I'm gonna do is shorten the hi-hat that I've got on pad four, because it's just a little bit splashy at the moment. And I'm gonna make the hi-hat on pad three similar. So I'm just gonna put these in first and I'm gonna flip-flop between pads three and four on the eighth notes. Now I'm gonna put in the kick and the snare. So I'm gonna put in a simple pattern first with the kick and the snare, then I'm gonna add some ghost kicks. So the kick that I've got on pad one, I'm gonna select that, I'm gonna press and hold copy, press that kick again, and then press pad five and copy it to pad five. So for the kick on pad five, which is gonna be our ghost kick, I'm gonna to go to envelopes and the second page where we've got our filters. And I'm just gonna bring the frequency down to roll off some of the high frequencies. Now I'm gonna put in some ghost kicks, which are 16th notes, so they're gonna be on the offbeat. Now I'm gonna to go to the main page and I'm gonna make sure I'm in my second bank of Q-Links and my third knob down is swing. So I'm gonna bring this up to my preferred swing amount, which is 64. So the hi-hats don't sound good at the moment and that means I need to edit them. So let's go to the program editor and let's use the amplitude envelope. And I'm gonna to switch to attack, hold, decay, sustain mode, and just grab the sustain parameter and bring that all the way down to zero, and then drag out the decay. I'm gonna make the second hat sound similar. So attack, hold, decay, sustain, bring down the sustain to zero and drag out the decay. So we can still differentiate between the two, 
but they're both similar in terms of the length now. So let's now use some of the drum effects which we've got in 2.10. So first of all I'm going to do the snare and for this I'm going to use the soft clipper. And this gives this a really nice snap and brings the snare out quite a lot. And for the kick I'm going to use the bass E tight. So I'm going to bring that right up to around 7. Let's take a listen. So here's our open hat. So I'm going to go to the filter page and let's just put a high pass filter on this and just bring the cutoff down a bit. So I'm going to put this open hi hat in the same mute group as the snare. So let's put that in mute group one and put our stick or snare into mute group one also. So I'm just going to put it in that position there in the second bar. So the next thing I'm going to do is go to menu and channel mixer, which is pad 12. And for the entire program, I'm going to put an air compressor. So let's go to dynamics and air compressor. Now you'll notice that the threshold by default is at minus 48 dB. So this is going to be really compressed and quiet as a result. But as I bring up the threshold, the volume will increase and we'll get less of that harsh compression. So there's a couple of things that I want to try now. It's the new insert effect, the diode clip. That's a harmonic effect and it's at the top of the list. Let's try this. So the only thing that I'm not too keen on are the hi-hats as they're quite loud. So let's go to the pad mixer and just turn down pads three and four. So I'm gonna bring those down quite a lot. And that's mostly because the compressor is really pushing those out. So let's now go back to program edit and with the snare, even though it sounds quite nice and bright there, when it's playing alongside everything else, it's losing a bit of that brightness. So to brighten that up, we could just put a low four filter on there and maybe add some resonance. I might even shorten that snare as well. So if we go back to the amplitude envelope, change to attack hold decay sustain again again bring the sustain all the way down to the bottom and as I play the sequence back I'm just going to drag out the decay parameter I'm still not happy with the hi-hat, so let's go to the filter page, and I think I need to apply a high-pass filter to both of these. So let's choose a high four for pads three and four. So that's not too bad. 
we can play about with the semitones of the entire program to give us a completely different feel to this break. quite like it there at plus two. The last thing that I'm gonna do, which can really make your break sound quite organic and real and acoustic, is add a ride symbol. So if I go to back to the browser and type in ride, there should be a few in the vault. This one here is fine. Let's put that on pad six. Let's just go to the pad mixer and turn down the volume for this and I'll probably have to adjust the envelope as well. So that's quite nice. I applied a high pass filter to the ride and I just played about with the pitch and it seemed that minus four semitones seems to work well for me at least. Another thing that I'd like to do with the snare is use the new randomization feature which is found on the fourth page of our sample sub page. So for the snare, I'm just gonna increase the pitch might also do the same for the hi-hat. So it seems that somewhere around 30 or 40 seems to take quite a nice effect. Let's try that. Of course we can do a lot more to this if we resample it or bounce it. So let's just go to the pencil icon in the track area and choose bounce to sample. So I'm just going to add that to this drum program on pad 9. And there's our bounce sample. And let's just erase this pattern. I just must remember to bring down the semitones of the program, otherwise we'll be pitching up our bounce and that'll put it out of time. And the other thing I need to do is take off the effects of the entire program. So let's just get rid of these. We can add them again if we need to. And let's record this in. So you'll notice the volume has dropped quite considerably and that's probably because we need to normalize this sample. 
So let's go to menu, sample edit. Now you can see that if we normalize it, not much is gonna happen because I think our snare drums, which are these hits here, are hitting the floor and the ceiling of our sample. So all we need to do to correct that is go to process, move across to gain change, and this will square off our wave. So it won't distort it, it will just really heavily saturate it. So I'm gonna put it up to plus seven dB. So that will square off everything else and that should be quite nice and loud now. And let's just go back to the channel mixer. We don't have to put this on this whole program. We can just put it on the pad. I'm just gonna put it on the program for now. Let's choose the diode clip again. So I'm quite happy with that. That's nice and punchy and crispy and quite hard hitting. So I know I've rushed through this guys, but there's plenty of information in here which you can use to make your own breaks. I might do some additional videos where we deal with some different genres, but please like, share and subscribe if you like this video. Please head over to my website, www.tubedigger.com forward slash MPC masterclass or forward slash lessons if you want private lessons with myself or you can contact me at tubedigger at gmail.com for more details about my lessons. And again, if you'd like to become a patron and support this channel, you can head over to patreon.com forward slash tubedigger. So I'll see you on the next one, guys. This is Tube Digger, and I'm out.